You're thinking about buying car insurance, so what do you do? There's many options. You can go to the internet, you can go see your agent, you can call a 1-800 number. But the bottom line is once you get the information and once you get the quote, how do you compare it to the competition? I would strongly suggest that you get things in paper because a lot of times an agent or a customer service rep will say things and they truly mean it, but unless you have it documented and you have it side by side, line item by line item, you just don't know what it's going to cost. There's many different types of limits such as bodily injury, property damage, uninsured motorists. All of these have a significant value on the bottom line premium when it comes to that quote. So sometimes you can see a premium that looks lower than the competition, but it's probably because they left something out. So you want to make sure that you at least have your basic coverages and you compare those basic coverages. That would be your property damage, your bodily injury, your uninsured motorist, to name a few, and also your comp and collision if you have a car of uh, substantial value. You could raise these limits and that's going to raise the premium, or you could lower them. The same with your comp and collision. So again, when you're comparing these quotes, make sure that if you're at 250, it's comparable to all of the different quotes as far as your comp and collision deductible. Again, I'm James with the Resurgence Group. I'm an insurance agent. And when you're choosing different carriers and different quotes, just make sure that it's apples to apples.